Indians with advanced degree may have to wait 150 years for green card in U.S., report. As of April 20, 2018, there were 632,219 Indian immigrants and their spouses and minor children waiting for green cards also known as legal permanent residency cards. Indians with advanced degree may have to wait 150 years for green card in U.S., report as of April 20, 2018. There were 632,219 Indian immigrants and their spouses and minor children waiting for green cards also known as legal permanent residency cards. Washington, Indians with advanced degrees may have to wait for over 150 years for a green card which authorizes them to live and work in the U.S. permanently, according to projections by a think tank. The new calculation on the green card wait period by Cato Institute, a Washington-based think tank, comes after the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services USIS, recently released number of applicants for such cards. The calculation is based on the number of green card issuances in 2017. As of April 20, 2018, there were 632,219 Indian immigrants and their spouses and minor children waiting for green cards also known as legal permanent residency cards. The shortest wait is for the highest skilled category for EB1 immigrants with extraordinary ability. EB stands for employment based. The extraordinary immigrants from India will have to wait only six years, Cato Institute said in its latest report. According to the Aussies, there are 34,824 Indian applicants under EB1 category. Along with their 48,754 spouse and children, 83,578 Indians are in line for green card under EB1 category. EB3 immigrants those with bachelor's degrees will have to wait about 17 years, Cato Institute said. As of April 20th, there were 54,892 Indians in this category. Clubbed with 60,381 spouses and children, the total number of Indians waiting for green card in EB3 category are 1,15,273. However, the biggest backlog is for EB2 workers, who have advanced degrees. At current rates of visa issuances, they will have to wait 151 years for a green card. Obviously, unless the law changes, they will have died or left by that point, Cato Institute said. According to the USIS, there were 2,16,684 primary Indian applicants under EB2 category and 2,16,684 spouses and children, thus making a total of 4,33,368. This is primarily because of the existing laws which imposes per country limit of 7%. In all 306,400 primary Indian applicants are waiting for their green cards. Clubbed with their spouses and children numbering 325,819. As many as 632,219 Indians in all are waiting for their green cards. In 2017 only 22,602 Indians were issued the legal permanent residency cards. Of these 13,082 were in the EB1 category, 
2879 in EB2 category and 6641 in EB3 category, according to the latest SCS figures. Keo Institute said the green card allocation is not based on the backlog, so 69% of the backlog is in the EB2 category, but it received only 13% of the green cards issued in 2017. There are two reasons for this, it explained. First, each category is guaranteed a minimum of 40,040 green cards. So the allocation between categories does not adjust when one category has higher demand than the others. Second, EB2 is currently subject to the per-country limits, that prevent Indian immigrants from receiving more than 7% of the green cards issued in the category, the report said. Cato Institute notes that that for employment-based green cards, the per-country limit only applies in full force when a category is filled up, meaning that if some green cards would go to waste, Indian immigrants can receive above the per-country limit of 7%. For this reason, Indian immigrants received nearly 18% of the total green cards issued in the EB3 category in 2017. Referring to the inconsistency in the application of the per-country limit, the report said if the per-country limits end up not applying fully for EB2 during some future years, they could receive their green cards before the next century. For example, if they receive the same number of green cards as EB3 workers did in 2017, they would have to wait only for 65 years, rather than 151 years as projected based on the number of issuances in 2017. On the other hand, if the per-country limits end up applying fully for EB3 workers after 2018, they could end up having to wait more than 40 years, rather than 17 years, the report said.